<laughs> sorry what up youtube it's me it's me it's your favorite today how you doing hope you're doing fine on this beautiful monday evening um these are my sales for the week uh first sale i'm just gonna get into it let's cut the bs first sale was this leather jacket for 59.99 um this is my biggest sale today on ebay um i found this in a job lot of leather jackets that i bought from somebody off spock who live around near me she was selling eight leather jackets uh for 20 pound and this was in there um yeah got 59.99 out of it can't fucking complain sorry about the language <laughs> but yeah 59.99 for one leather jacket it was in pretty good nick and it's gone to france second side of the week was another one of these mattel elite figures um i bought a job lot for 60 quid uh this one sold for 29.99 all in the packaging nothing else really to report obviously the packaging got a few scuffs as you can see i would say study the photos um but yeah, uh, that sold for twenty nine ninety nine. Uh, cost me five pounds something or other um, for the single one because it cost me sixty quid for eleven, I think. Uh, third side of the week, it did. Well, I'll, actually, I'll show you on the spreadsheet. Uh, third side of the week was this Fix It Felix Wreck It Ralph plush. I uh, bought this from charity shop. Cost me one pound fifty. Uh, it still had the tag on. Nothing really else to report, but it was in pretty good nick. No, it was in pretty good nick. Uh, next up, this was um, when I got the wrestling ring from the car boot a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the TNA wrestling ring, which I think I sold last week. Um, this was in a bag with it. She'd literally thrown it together. Um, what people don't realise is if you get see these knee pads Ooh, I can't do it I don't know finger see these knee pads here if you get a bunch of those uh, they sell pretty well because the wrestlers are forever losing their knee pads uh, the mother figures are forever losing their knee pads so they sell pretty well if you can get a bunch of them uh, but it's just bits and bobs you know chairs and uh, that Scott Steiner's headgear uh, some brake Broken walls, uh, stuff like that. It was just bits and bobs, but that sold for nine ninety nine. A Ben Ten figure bundle, Brath and Armadrilla, and the last one. Uh, this was out of a job lot of wrestling figures. Uh, as I've said before, I've always try and get one job lot a week, whether it be Ben Ten or wrestling or whatever, and um, just break them down to get my listings up. Um, but this was Goldberg, who was in there, uh, just one single figure, probably out of 50 that cost me 40 quid. And this one single figure got 11.99. Um, if you ever see Goldberg, he's pretty unique because he, he was in an old company that shut down in 2001. Um, he's been in WWE for a bit, I mean bits and bobs, but he returned last year. And... Um, if you do search his name on sold listings, it, he has sold quite a bit the last year. So, let's have a look at the profit. Right, so we're looking from here. Alright, so you got the leather jacket, cost me £2.50, sold for £56. I took a best offer, I had it on there for 60 and I took 50 quid because it had been on there for a while. Uh, £6 postage. And I made a profit of thirty nine fifty two. It's mad when you sell for fifty six quid, and because of a five pound sixty pounds um, fee from eBay, which I understand, and a two pound thirty eight fee from um, PayPal, get you down to like thirty nine fifty two or well, forty two quid if you want to take yeah, forty two quid after the fees. Uh, elite figure cost me five pound forty five. Sold for thirty three eighty nine. Uh, made a profit of twenty pound fourteen p. 
the Disney Fix It video, as you can see there, um, the 10th was Monday, Wednesday was the 12th, and I didn't say, say anything again until the Friday. Um, it has been a pretty slow week, but those two, profit-wise, were pretty sweet for the start of the week, so I wasn't too disheartened. <clears throat> but you got that Fix It Felix, cost me £1.50, sold for £13.89, made a profit of £6.57. Uh, you got the WWE and TNA accessories, uh, cost me £1.50, sold for £13.89, made a profit of £6.57, basically identical as the Fix It Felix. Uh, you got a Ben 10 figure bundle, cost me £1.32. Uh, sold for ten ninety four, made a profit of four pound sixteen, and the WCW Goldberg figure cost me one pound twenty one, sold for fifteen eighty nine. Look, when you look at that, that cost me one pound twenty one, and it sold for fifteen eighty nine. Obviously with postage, but I made a profit of eight pound sixty one. So um, this month is doing pretty well. I'm on a hundred and ninety three. I have sold something today which has boosted up a little bit, not much, not a lot of profit in it. But um yeah, I'm on ninety three ninety six. It's probably the best I've ever been at this point of the month. Uh last month I was at hundred and twenty four. Month previous I was at Oh, I might was it hundred and eighty? Hmm. So I was at hundred and eighty in May. April, I'm good god, I don't know. It was awful in April. I was at 53 quid in April. So, yeah, uh, it's all looking pretty well at the minute. Getting that destroyed. I do wish when, when I'm here that I've, I've been working on, I've been watching like a lot of TED Talks and a lot of uh, videos. If anybody's got any advice, just trying to get through my eight hours of being here and um, kind of looking at the bigger picture and thinking oh, I've just got to keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going because obviously when I put the work in you know my sales getting better um, I really have the last two months like been after work I'm not slacking off, not having a day off here and there which a lot in the last like year and a bit a lot of my stuff where I know a lot of people probably look at my sales going really that's not that good Especially when you hear some of the sales that go around. But, um, yeah, for me, it's been a lot, uh, a lot of being here and hating being here and then trying to go home and trying to list. Also, a thing that I can't source in the week, really. I'd love to, like, I've already got a plan in my head what I'd do. If I wasn't working, I'd be, um, say, Wolverhampton charity shops on the weekend, maybe Dudley charity shops one day a week, Codsall. Billbrook another day, maybe into Brum, you know, different little villages and towns on the outskirts of Wolverhampton that I could go to and check out charity shops, Penkridge. Um, that's what I'd probably spend my week doing and maybe try and find car boots in the middle of that. But yeah, yeah, just got to keep my head down, keep working, and it will come. And obviously, like, there's stuff like where I'm looking where, you know, I'm, I don't make a lot of profit on certain things, but it's like a thing of, no, just keep going, keep doing what I'm doing, keep, you know, making mistakes. You know, there's some stuff here where I'm going, yeah, maybe that's not the right thing to be doing now, but, you know, keep going until you think of something else that's better. Um, that's kind of my mindset at the minute. But anyway, thanks for watching. Comment below if you enjoyed the video, like if you enjoyed the video, dislike if you didn't enjoy the video. Uh, comment below, I will get back to your comments eventually, but I am pants at getting back to people. I mean, I barely answer the phone to my wife. It's just because I don't like her. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, so peace out, stay safe, and all that jizz. Um, I will catch you tomorrow with another vlog. Bye-bye.